With the recent announcements, I believe Google just won the AI race. I'm going to explain in this video why. First of all, the past three days, it's been crazy in the world of AI. OpenAI announces their insane new multimodal GPT-40, which is basically an AI that can talk to you just like a normal human would because of its capacity to take in as input pictures, videos, texts, and audio simultaneously and respond as quickly as a normal human, paving the way for a more natural human to machine interactions. If you have seen the movie Her, GPT-4 is basically that because it can even understand things like sarcasm and the tone of your voice, which is insane. So then the next day, which was yesterday, Google announces their project Astra, which is their multimodal AI exactly like GPT-4.0 built on top of Gemini, which is Google's large language model. But not just that, in this Google I.O. 2024, which is their developer day, Google announced a ton of other projects that sets them apart from other AI companies like OpenAI and Tropic or Meta. So Google, as they described yesterday, has entered the Gemini era, meaning that they're incorporating their large language model Gemini basically into all of their products. So one of the main reasons that Google is ahead in the AI race, and I think it's going to keep being ahead, is because of its enormous user base. With over 2 billion users across its products, Google has a vast amount of data and a large engaged audience to leverage its AI advancements. So this extensive user base provides a unique advantage in my opinion that allows Google to continuously train and improve its AI models on a scale that honestly a few can match even OpenAI or a company like Meta. And when it comes to AI, fine tuning and constantly training AI models on data is basically the key to success. And we all know that no company in the world has more data on everyone and everything than Google. So Google has integrated Gemini, which is again, it's advanced AI model into all their major products, making them more intelligent and very user friendly. So this integration across things like Gmail, Google Photos, Google Meet and other services means that users can now experience basically the AI, the enhanced AI functionality in their everyday tasks. So whether it's summarizing long email threads or finding specific photos or providing meeting highlights, Gemini has the ability now to enhance productivity in all of these different products. So just like the recently released GPT-4.0, Gemini's ground up multimodal capabilities sets it apart from other AI models at this point. Uh, it can process and understand various types of data, including text, images, and video simultaneously. So this means that the users can interact with Google services in kind of a more natural and intuitive way. So for example, in Google Photos, Gemini can recognize and summarize different contexts within photos, making it easier for users to find and relive memories. So as I was talking about earlier, so Project Astra is basically their competition to GPT-4.0. So Project Astra, as as they describe is essentially an, an AI agent which represents a significant leap forward in the AI space actually and a lot of the companies in the future are going to be releasing a lot of AI agents because that's the future of artificial intelligence so these intelligent AI agent systems they can reason they can plan and remember multi steps ahead working kind of across the software and system to accomplish tasks on behalf, behalf of the users because now the users can directly interact with these different agents. So similar to OpenAI's Sora, uh, Google also yesterday announced a new generative video model called Vio and that showcases their cutting edge advancements into that text to video AI generation. So Vio basically can create high quality 1080p videos from text, image and video prompts, capturing like really intricate details and presenting them in various visual styles. And they presented a demo of that it looked really cool. Uh, so this capability kind of not only enhances the content creation uh, through YouTube and other Google products, but also really positions Google at the forefront of AI driven multimedia innovation, which we know is going to be the future. And the crazy thing is, unlike Sora, you can actually join the wait list for VO, which I actually did. So hopefully they'll give us accent soon. Yeah, so the next few years is going to be very interesting to say the least when it comes to the AI space because all these companies release more and more advanced AI products. I'm actually looking forward to it. So hopefully Google will deliver on its promises because if they do, 
again without a doubt they're gonna um, win this AI race and they're gonna keep continuing to win the race because of just how big their user base is and how much data they have access to. All right, that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. See you on the next one.